This canopic jar was discovered in 1907 in this very mysterious little uninscribed tomb in the Valley of the Kings, along with three others, because canopic jars come in sets of four. They are made to hold the separately mummified viscera, the stomach, the intestines, the lungs, and the liver of the person who's being buried. She's just incredibly beautiful. She's made out of this translucent stone. It has this veining, this wonderful creamy, whitish, yellowish color. And then you get the beautiful shape with the high shoulder tapering down, which echoes the human body. And then the stopper itself, the serene oval face with the long straight nose and the very full sensuous lips. The slanted eyes are very mysterious looking and these arched eyebrows, they're inlaid with glass. And that's the only color you see. It's very modern. A lot of Egyptian things would have been highly painted. This was meant to go into a burial and never be seen again. It seems to me that aesthetically, this goes well beyond meeting the need of surviving into the afterlife. The first thing we want to know is, who is she? When we try to look at the inscription, we see, oh, it's gone. Someone has come along and gone and rubbed it away. Scholars have been able to reconstruct that this inscription was originally carved for a queen named Kia. So then that's the next question is, who is Kia? And she's a very enigmatic figure herself. We know that she was Akhenaten's wife. But then, just to make things more complicated, the head, the stoppers, don't seem to necessarily go with the jars. So what we think we're looking at right now is the head of Akhenaten's mother, T, and the body of Kia. The fact that the inscription was taken away would have rendered it non-functional. They were left in the tomb but rendered nameless. Why? Everything you do in Egyptology gets questioned. You have to approach objects and, and theories in archaeology the way that I think you have to think about everything in life. You have to take the evidence you have, come up with a story that makes sense, but stay open. What we're left with is this enigmatic but beautiful piece of art. <laughs>